what's going on youtube it's your boy josh i hope everyone is doing well welcome back to the channel and if you're new to my channel to support your boy go ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on today in this video i got another tutorial for you guys let's get it so the first thing you want to do is pick or comb or brush out any areas that you're going to be fading in so you can get all the hair to lay in its natural direction so you can find any cowlicks or just finding his natural direction so right after we're done picking this hair out, I come in with my number two guard with the lever all the way open, going up in a C-scoop motion, just clearing out some bulk. This is hair that we don't need and this is going to take us too much time if we try to cut through it. So I go ahead with my number two guard in the beginning and clear all that hair out that we don't even need. It's just overgrown hair. And also this is where I begin to create the shape that we want for this overall haircut too. So right after we have all the boat cleared out, we're going right into that fade, starting with our ball line, using my gold fabulous trimmers, setting in my ball line. In this haircut, we're gonna be giving him a high fade, but I'm still gonna drop it in the back. I have a just, you know, a tendency to do that. I just like the transition with the fade in the back, but we're still gonna make it a high fade. It's not a drop fade, cause I did it like this. It's just the transition I want in the back, but on the sides, it's definitely gonna be a high fade. So right here, I'm just hitting the bottom of that harsh guideline that I set in to soften it up. So when we come back to take this guideline out, it'll be a smooth process. So for my next step, I'm gonna come in with my cordless magic clips with the lever all the way open with no guard on, going up about a half an inch, making sure the width of the guideline, the same all the way around the head, following the same shape as the first guideline that we made so we can have a balanced fade throughout this whole haircut. So after we set the guideline in, we just use the same clipper and close the lever halfway. And I start right up under the guideline and just flick up towards the guideline, making sure I don't go too high because if you go too high, all you do is push the guideline up. You just wanna have a flick motion and the, and the line will blend right out. If you guys notice, every time I pull the clipper away from the head, I'm adjusting the clipper. Sometimes every hair texture doesn't give you a smooth blend. You have to do some detail work. So right here we jumping right into the number one guard on with the lever all the way open. Going up about another half an inch and making sure that we keep this guidelines width the same all the way around the head. Following the same shape as our previous guideline. Just so our fade can be balanced all the way up and you will have a smooth even fade all the way around. When I'm starting with the number one guard on, with the lever all the way open, I always fade down. So I drop right down to the number one guard closed. And I just hit that same line, but I don't go up as high because if I do, all I'm doing is making the number one guard closed all the way up. But we don't wanna do that, we wanna keep that transition. So I just go up about halfway into it. Once you feel like you gave that one guard close enough of a transition, you come back with that half guard and you start right up under that guideline and flick right into it in a flick out motion. And right here, you're really just hitting the bottom of that guideline. You're not really going up into it. And this should create a smooth transition for you guys. So in the beginning of the haircut, when we started with the two guard open to clear out that bulk, we initially created our foundation in the haircut. So right here, we're just gonna be fading down, starting back with the number two guard like we did in the beginning of the haircut. And like I said, we're fading down. So I'm starting with the two guard open. Then we're gonna drop right down to the number two guard all the way closed and just work our way down till we end up back with the one guard. So right here is me fading down with the number two guard with the lever all the way closed. And you're just gonna see that line soften the further and further down we get. So going down in the fade right here, we're picking up that one and a half guard, starting with the lever all the way open. 
and we're just going to hit the bottom of that guideline all the way around the head and once i see that i have a good transition on it i'm going to drop down to that one and a half guard closed and we're going to move on from there so right here, like I said, we ended back up with that number one guard right here in this area. We're going to be doing a lot of detail work, connecting, you know, the bottom of this fade together, making it transition into the top. So right here to blend the rest of this fade, we're going to be doing clipper over comb. I like doing clipper over comb because it gives me more control. And I don't like to use guards around this area because I feel like you tend to push the fade up too high using guards. Right here you have more control of what, of what you're fading. And I have a certain shape that I wanted for this. So I had to pull out the comb so I can get real, real detailed. So right after going in and doing clipper over comb, I came back with my number three guard with the lever all the way closed. And I went up barely up against the longer hair, hitting those dark areas, getting that fade to come out more cleaner. And right after I go in with my number three guard, I come back with my number two guard open and just hit right up under that. guys we're about to do the lineup i'm going to pin the hair up and knock down some of the bulk off the front of his hairline so i can get some of the hair to lay down so we can get a crispier line and we don't have too much hair to fight with and right here i'm doing this with a one and a half guard on right here we jumping right into the hairline using my gold babylon trimmers already setting in a nice crispy line for my guy as you guys know this is one of my favorite parts of the haircut because it brings out the fade and it just brings out the overall look of the cut but we're just getting started i'm gonna sit back and let y'all watch this lineup bring this haircut to life So right here we're going to add some enhancements to my guy's cut. This was his graduation haircut so you know I had to get my boy right and add that extra pop y'all. Right after applying the enhancements you want to come back with your trimmer and just line it up with that natural hairline. And as y'all seen I had this natural hairline hit too. Y'all want to make sure before y'all add an enhancements that y'all got them natural hairlines crispy. So when they come off you know it's still a nice line because it doesn't last forever. And right after you're done lining it up and got the forehead clear, you want to go in with some holding spray and your blow dryer to lock it in so it doesn't go nowhere. And after I do that, I come back one last time and do my, you know, super crispy lineup that adds that nice ash line to the haircut. And it's just, you know, it makes it look good, especially when I take my pictures. Well, y'all, this is the before. If you watched it up until this point, I really appreciate you guys. Y'all see me transform him from beginning to end. But without further ado, this is the cut. Let me know what y'all think about this haircut in the comments. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video also. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and you smash that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. I hope you guys learned something from this video. I had fun doing this video for you guys. This cut came out dope. Let me know in the comments what y'all think for real. Rate it from the 1 through 10. Leave all the fire emojis, everything. Show some love. 
and also if you don't already you guys can follow me on instagram at josh x barber like you guys see on the top of this video it's your boy josh and i'm out